Let's move on to Androsine Dial. Now this is another product of the cholesterol pathway. It's actually converted from DHEA and then later down the line converted to directly to testosterone. However, the mechanism of action is believed to be that the androstene diol converts to androstene diol. And the reason for this is when they did studies on androstene diol, they found actually increased levels of androstene diol. Now, after they supplemented androstene diol for about 28 days, they again, they saw the significant in increase in androstene diol, as well as free testosterone and dihydrotestosterone, but there was no change in the serum testosterone or the total testosterone. Now this sounds great, right? Free testosterone is the testosterone that's available for your body to use for all those good activities. However, in this study, they also noticed an increase in serum estradiol or other estrogens, and they saw the same negative impacts in terms of lipids. So they saw a decreased HDL, increased LDL, and subsequently they were worried about an increased risk of cardiovascular disease. And also looking at lean body mass, they did not see a benefit in terms of lean body mass or fat mass with androstenediol.